Hey everyone, it's me Jason here at North of Exile Games, Canada's local game store. And I'm excited because today I'm going to be talking to you once again about Genesis Battle of Champions, which I like to think of as Canada's tactical collectible card game. And again, the tactical part is what helps turn this collectible card game on its head compared to other ones that you may be familiar with. If you haven't seen the other videos I've already done about Genesis, just one of the highlights to keep in mind is in Genesis, you basically have all your resources up front with this big aura pool to spend on, on summons and spells. And the game is really interesting because the decisions you make early and what you spend your aura on early affect you later game because when you're running low on resources, the games can occasionally go really long where you're just drawing cards that you can't use and you're frustrated because you're like, I just need a little more aura. And I love that about the game. It's very, very cool. It makes for some dynamic games. I also love the fact that with this tactical card game, location is everything. And you play it with your summons, your creatures on a five by six grid and you're battling around and it's position and awareness matter because if your creature can't see another creature because they're not in their range then they can't do anything and i love it so it's been a lot of fun my son jade and i uh we filmed a couple other videos you might have already seen part three where uh i actually got the win against jaden in our first ever game of genesis since then we've played a few more games off camera we actually spent a whole afternoon playing it a bunch of times and he won two out of three i gotta admit uh one game I won pretty dominantly, one game he won pretty dominantly, and then the third game, being a new player, and that's what these videos are all about, is showing you what it's like as a new player. I actually made a rules mistake in the third game in so much as he was hiding in this terrain, a haunted catacomb or something. The gimmick is that when he's on that space, you can't do physical damage to him, you can only hit him with like ranged spells and stuff like that, and I forgot like because I didn't have any attacks that could reach him I totally forgot about the fact I could have just attacked the terrain and destroyed the terrain and I would have easily won because I had a dominant forward position but I forgot about it and he got a few turns for free where all I could do is exert and pass and hope to draw a card and he came back and he won so good on him for remembering the rules better than I did and, and not letting on that I was screwing up when I was uh, but we both had a lot of fun with it. And I want to talk today about my deck, uh, my first ever deck list, the one featured in the last video. Today we're going to highlight four cards from that deck that I really like. Now that I've played a few more games, I've kind of found my favorites. And I have ideas on how I want to tweak my deck. But I thought it would be fun just to feature for you the cards that I've really grown to like in the initial phases of it. So the first card I'm going to talk about today is the card that I have the most copies of in my deck. And again, with deck building in Genesis, you have to have exactly 50 cards in your deck, but there's a point value for every card. And you have a pool of 250 chi to spend total, which works out to an average of five chi points a card. So if you go with a card that's like got eight chi points because it's so powerful, then because there's a 250 point limit, you're gonna have to go with another card that's only got three chi points to balance it out. So because of the point system, there is no hard limit of like four copies in a deck. You can go as many as you want. So the first card I want to talk about today is Gust. Uh, Gust I'm going to put up on the screen here so you can see it. And Gust I run, what do I run in Gust? I run eight copies of it. It's the card I have the most of. It's been a really good card for me because it, basically it's Swift, which is kind of like something you can do instantly in response to the other player attacking. And I like it because, you know, it does two air damage. Two damage is better than one. But the other thing I like is if they're directly in front of you and you're doing Gust to them, you can push them back a space, which... If they try and hurt me, and they have a range of literally one square, I can do Gust in response, push them back a square, and now their attack's going to miss because I'm not in their range anymore. So that's why I run so many copies of it, and it's played really well for me. Uh, so going from a card that I have eight copies all the way down to a really powerful card I only have one copy in the deck. Next one I want to tell you about is Angel of Retribution. I love this guy mainly because... Uh, mainly because this this card here won me a game just on its own it was dominating i got angel of retribution out early now to keep in mind this card here is as powerful as it gets it's eight chi which is the maximum uh so it costs a lot to put it into your deck also to, to beckon it to get it into the game it costs 25 aura which is a ton of aura uh so if you don't have it early on in the game when you still have all your aura you might have trouble getting it out later but i had it one game i got it out early and it does six damage with a holy attack, which is bonkers. Uh, and the other thing is, because it's aerial, it's a flying beckon, uh, only ranged attacks can hit it. So there was a game where Jaden didn't have anything that had ranged attacks. And I was able to just fly around with this crazy angel and just start picking things off one at a time. And it won me a game, just dominating. It was great. So I would actually probably run a second one if I could find another copy. I only had the one copy right now. But I would definitely make some tweaks and cut some other cards out of the deck and put in some weaker cheese to free up the space for a second Angel of Retribution because 
Love it. Uh, next card to talk about, third card to talk about is Chain Lightning. Chain Lightning is a really twisted, cool card that I love. It's been a lot of fun to play. Uh, in my deck, I have six copies of it. It costs five for Chi, which is right on that middle ballpark. Uh, so it's power level-wise, it should be an average card. But what I like about it is you do three damage to a target, either a champion or a summon. Then, going right around it, in the eight squares around that target, you get to do two damage to a different target. And then once you hit that target, going in the eight squares around it, even back to the first one again if you want, you do one last damage to another target. So there have been games where I've done four damage to a champion by hitting it first and last, and two damage to a summons in the middle. And there's actually been a couple times where I've went the other way, where I started with doing three damage to a summons, then I did two damage to Jaden's champion, and I went back and did a fourth damage to the original summon to knock it out. So there have been some really big, powerful summons that I've been able to wipe out, mainly just with a good chain lightning, and getting the two bonus damage to the champion felt really good as well. So I run six copies of that. Love it. Uh, it's a great card. Last one I wanted to talk about was, I wanted to talk about another one of my summons. Uh, this one here is the Tarantula, Urticating Tarantula, I think. Yeah, so I'll put that up here for you too. Uh, what I like about it is it's, it's six chi, so it's pretty powerful, but it's not like crazy. Uh, it only costs 12 to beckon it. And what I like is it's got a range attack where it's awareness is two spots in front of it, not just one. So you get to do three damage to one target. But because of that range attack, sometimes you can hit something and they're not able to hit you back. And especially if I'm using Gust with my champion, I'm able to like sometimes blow something out of the square they're in into range for the tarantula to then hit. And it works out really well. So there's some synergy in the deck there sometimes. Depending on where your opponents have their champions and summons, it can. there are times when it's worked out really great. So those are the four cards I wanted to talk to you about. Uh, the Gust, the Angel of Retribution, the Chain Lightning, and then the Tarantula. Uh, those are my four favorites right now. My deck is constantly being changed. Jade and I are playing every day, every other day. We're playing a lot of Genesis, and I love it. So I just wanted to show you some cards and keep the game in your mind, because if you haven't uh, discovered it yet, you need to discover it. It is Canada's tactical collectible card game, Genesis Battle Champions. Do battle in a 5x6 grid, and uh, may the cards be ever in your favor, I guess. That's it. That's all I got for you today. Take care. Stay safe out there. Go North.